Hola, mi amigo. Mi familia has been coming to visit the bocho while I've been working on it in the shop. They've told me the most amazing stories you wouldn't believe. Tío Oscar says Papa Fernando actually drove for a rally team for a while. He competed in the Baja, maybe even Dakar. We could recreate one of his runs. Tia Sofia told me he once put his bocho through the roof of a building. We could recreate his jumps. Probably leave out the building, though. Your choice. I'll take care of the setup. Meet me in the Baja. This bocho eats up cross country like my tío eats tamales. <laughs> On my way! meters.
400 meters, turn right. Turn right. Some more modifications. I've tried to get it as close as possible to how Papa Fernando and a rally team would have built it. Really? <laughs> What's the problem? You don't think they would have taken a little modern technology if it made the watcho go faster? Just get in and hang on. <laughs> Understood. Rowdy set. I'll call out waypoints as we go. Are you ready for a time trial? <laughs> I'm ready for anything in this. Nice slide. <laughs> hey, watch the body work. I just feel that. Next waypoint is up now. 
going, I'm going. Turn right. on the under tray, when Papa Fernando races mucho, he raced it hard. I replaced the tray and rebuilt the shocks. Should be good. How's the handling? Uh, it's good. We're busy now, though. Got another waypoint for you. En route. In 200 meters, turn right. Turn right. In 200 meters, Turn right. Turn right. Nice drive, my friend. I couldn't find a driver named Fernando Torres in the records for the Baja 500 or the Baja 1000. But that doesn't mean he didn't enter. What about the Dakar? Africa is a long way for a little bocho. Maybe that was just a story he told to Uncle Oscar and the other kids in the family. I know I would have sat and listened to him for hours. Hmm. Official or not, he must have been quite a racer. See, si, he was. Vamos. Hey, mi amigo. I found Papa Fernando in an old car magazine. It has mucha información on the work he did to the bocho. I can't wait to try some of this stuff out. For fast handling on corners, we could go here. Or for straight line speed, here. I'm setting up the speed course now. Wait till you see this. Ready for a new adventure? Perfect timing. So, where shall we go? What shall we do? Now we're talking. I'll start putting together ground crew, officials, and barriers. Lots and lots of barriers. Ojo, superstar. Alex is busy, but he told me to tell you there's a classic off-road vehicle in a barn not far from the festival. for the Goliath? Genial! I hope you're ready, my friend. The way you drive, you might see all of Mexico in one afternoon. Thank you. 
have arrived at your destination. I've done a bit of work on this. I think it's gonna be pretty quick. <laughs> it looks quick. And there's a speed camera just up the road. Ooh, I like what you're thinking. The route played in. Andale, vamos. This thing can really go. How did you come up with this idea? It wasn't my idea. I mean, not entirely. <laughs> When I was cleaning out the engine, I found scoring around the air filters. My papa Fernando had been widening them to improve the aspiration. He didn't have a turbo to put in. But you obviously did. Yup. Like it? This is utterly wild. I love it. <laughs> Just keep it on the road, okay? Speed cameras ahead. Go for it. Got it! That's it! Brilliant! <laughs> you okay? I think I left my teeth behind. I love this car. <laughs> you better go back and find them then. I'll call you soon. <laughs>